podcast at an Itasca County Board of Commissioners work session. A lot of people turn on public radio because they can trust it. They know that it's quality sources, it's fact-checked, it's it's reliable information. Wondering, do other states have a similar board, something like this? And how I love happens? days, including today, I love days where news is really popping. When I think of NPR, the first thing I think of is dedication. So it's just gotta be better than dedication. <laughs> I got this. When I think of NPR, I think of community. Storytelling. Serving this audience. One really big way in which we are changing is that we are trying to better reflect our communities. To sit in this chair in front of this microphone is not something I take lightly. Samantha, Maya, and Angela can go to New York for the award. <laughs> well, we're excited because we just learned that Angela and her team won a Gracie Award. What can we do that's going to move someone to action, that's going to open the door to a conversation that desperately needs to be had? Meet them where they're at and, uh, and empower them. Give them information that helps them live their lives. I've been at NPR for a long, long time when dinosaurs were still roaming the earth and before the crust had fully cooled. And we do have a huge advantage that we can dig in a little deeper and we can spend a little more time on things. That's a good thing. Dominant roles in crafting it. I'm Brian Baxt at the Capitol. I think the level of creativity that we're allowed in our jobs is substantial. And I think that that really pushes us forward. You're not just focusing on trauma all the time, you're focusing on how to make our communities better. We're part of the community too. I think our visual reporting for NPR is important because we're sometimes the, the first uh, thing that new audiences might see. When I cover any stories on the field, I can see the lots of different faces, lots of different colors. I can see the same type of communities living in this newsroom, so which is so great. <laughs> One story that I did that there was a lot of reaction about, it was a Santa Claus diversity story about different Santa Clauses. Orale! People of color just really, really appreciated that friends. report. Narjong, Merry Christmas. It's important to point out that there are a lot of problems and disparities that impact communities of color, but it's also equally important to, to highlight folks that have been a part of the solution for a long time. Their audiences are basically people like me, and that is super inspiring because then I feel heard. That's what actually keeps me coming to work happy every single day. Sam, I have to ask, how off was your Oscar ballot? <laughs> One of the things I really enjoy is kind of being part of that institutional memory and passing along stories. Ewan has worked here for so long, and so, like Aaron was saying, it really is like a privilege to learn from you. And no, no, it really is. Like, I, I'm serious. Like, I feel like I've learned a lot <laughs> from working with you. It always feels like he's like guiding us towards like. Just our best versions of ourselves. Ewan is our mentor. <laughs> I'm stunned. I'm really stunned. I, th I thought I was an agent of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Find some of the old people and get as much out as you can from them. <laughs> the people here are the strongest asset. I think um, it's one of the things that motivates me to stay and keep working here. People who've had to wear bulletproof vests to do their job and gas masks and helmets. I feel lucky and I feel grateful to be a part of that kind of impact. We are trying to reach young people, so we're focused on trying to reflect and serve Minnesotans who are roughly 18 to 35. I'm standing at Lake Wakanda. I think we just bring a different perspective to like what news is. TikTok is sometimes just like a person just like explaining something and maybe they're being kind of silly and like running with it. For NPR News, I'm Faven Garazgihar. We need new reporters, new hosts, new newscasters, and we've got to get that pipeline going. It's really important. You walk in here and there's this, I don't know, there's this journalistic cleverness. First word that comes to mind would be service. Opportunity. Curious. Honest. Essential. Human. Vibrant. Reliable. Just rewarding. 
That's hard. Informed. People. Fun? Or exciting, maybe? Different? I gave you five instead of three. <laughs> Possibility.